I've been a huge fan of Kathy Irway's blog, NotEatingOutInNewYork.com, for a while now. Hey, so I'm Kathy Irway, and I write Not Eating Out in New York. It's a blog, and it's about not eating out in New York, and my two years of doing so, and the recipes along the way. I love her approach to cooking, and especially her creative ways of reusing leftovers. So we teamed up with Kathy to make a really awesome lunch out of some of our Thanksgiving leftovers. <laughs> This week on Working Class Foodies. Kathy had a whole entire turkey carcass left, and we had a bunch of meat left from our turkey, and we put those together with some leftover roasted root vegetables and made a fantastic Hungarian-style goulash. A thick red soup made richer with lots of Hungarian paprika and sour cream. You're only causing trouble when you're making it. Down some onions, and this is just, I think it's carrot celery. Tons of uh, Hungarian paprika to give it that like goulash, Hungarian paprikash mm -hmm. flavor. Nice color, something different, totally yeah. not Thanksgiving. Put some white wine in there, give it some more flavor. Some stewed tomatoes. This is slightly ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of stock, we have this big turkey carcass, which is the basics of making stocks. Mm -hmm. It was picked at, and we kind of picked at some more, and we chopped up some of the extra meat that was hanging around on the bones. Then we threw the carcass in there. <laughs> no, will it fit? <laughs> so close. Pieces? There we go. Who needs turkey stock when you can just kind of yeah. fill this with water? <laughs> Cover and let it simmer for about an hour. This is going to be yeah. a meaty soup. We also had leftover roasted vegetables. You can really put anything in that soup you want. And then we had these like leftover mashed potatoes and we made a quick dumpling out of them with just flour and mashed potato. Some of them are a lot bigger than others. So it's important to keep it nice and boiling because as we drop them in, the temperature is gonna drop. We're gonna put in the biggest ones first. And at the last finishing touch, we added some sour cream. I couldn't find any sour cream at the green market. These dairy farms need to get on sour cream. sauteed in garlic to begin with, and they're just kind of limp and sad, so we <laughs> mashed them into baby food. Basically basil pesto, but with green beans in there, hidden in there. Sometimes I put pecans, they're really any you want. Let me tell you about a waitress that I met last year at a cafe in the middle of town. Sandwich with our leftover turkey. Do you guys want to try now? Mm. That's really good. It's really good. And that's gonna go into sandwich with our leftover turkey breast. I like a nice cold turkey sandwich. Here's your greens. Get your greens. It's really good. Make a nice souvenir. But I raised a brow when I found out how they got there. Sandwich. Awesome. Should we have them? Yeah. This is cranberry sauce. Redux. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just gonna cook it right in here. It's easy to remember. One, one, one. Mm -hmm. Winters in Miami and her summers in Maine, and she says she's always. 
is trying new things. Okay. And so she dresses like a human, but she thinks it's a pain when her collar shirt keeps cramping her wings. All right, let's go for it. Cranberry and rosemary, why not? And maybe I could take her out to dinner, but it would be on her terms, so she'd save some worms for later. Cheers. And the crumble's really good too. I mean, the knots work out perfectly. Mm. Cranberry sauce was like the perfect texture to put in this. The rosemary was a really cool addition. You know, a lot of people think that herbs are only for savory items, but they can really enhance a sweet dish too. The price breakdown for our Thanksgiving leftovers came to. For the goulash, we spent $4 on the stewed tomatoes and the sour cream but everything else in the soup, including the wine, was either leftover from Thanksgiving or a pantry item. For the pesto, Kathy actually grew the basil herself. We used half a loaf of hella from the farmer's market, which was $2, and about $2 worth of walnuts. So it was $4 for the pesto and the sandwiches for three people. For the cranberry bars, the oats, butter, flour, and cinnamon all came from the pantry. The cranberry sauce was the Thanksgiving leftover. We used $2 worth of walnuts, and the rosemary also came from Kathy's garden. So it was $2 for about 16 cranberry bars. Overall, our lunch cost us $10 for three people, which is just $3.34 a person. And we had plenty of goulash, pesto, and cranberry bars for another day. We both really wanted to thank Kathy Irway for taking the time and sharing with us her kitchen yeah. to show us these really fantastic ways to use our Thanksgiving leftovers. Yeah, thank you so much, Kathy. So now it's your turn. Share with us your most creative ways of reusing leftovers. We'd love to see what they are.